Hey, you've been a good boy. No, no, no. You stay there. Tired. I am tired. I'm almost ready for that. I started prematurely. Hmm. Hi, Jabs. You stay there. Dangerous out here. This is uh, motor number one. Kind of soda. I don't need the plastic anymore to protect it because at the end of the day I'm going to put the hatch back over it. I want to make this quick. These are some tools. This is a, um, well, if you know what it is, you know how handy this can be. I was just using that to align the mount and thought this would be a good thing to capture on camera. Can you see that? It says port, aft, front. So let's do this. On camera live, why not? Hmm? This goes right there. That it's lined up. Grab a tool. Right. I've been doing them one at a time. Mike helped me with the help of this machine to lower the motor in the hole. I still have all of my toes. <laughs> And my fingers. I'm putting the mounts on and then I'm going to call it a day. I wanted to show you guys what I'm up to. This is a tremendous uh, achievement. What I did is uh, I cracked a beer to celebrate that achievement. Enjoying the, the view of the boat yard. This is Glades Boat Storage. You can see the from the ground we got a little rain last night. Wind's still blowing. I can hear wind generators on sailboats. I fixed some stairs up. Actually, Mike did. Pups get on on and off a lot easier. But yeah, I figured uh, I'd give you a live and I'd show you this accomplishment just real quick before I get back to it soon there'll be the water pump the alternator the starter the wires the distributor the raw water pump the valve covers the intake manifold carburetors and that's just that motor hmm. but I can't tell you how proud I am that that's in the uh, in the hole. There's the next one. We'll get to that tomorrow. The next day, I don't know. <laughs> I'm gonna read some questions. Good luck. How long do you think you can be back underway? Says John. A uh, week, perhaps. I think um, one week from now I'll have that motor ready to run. We won't know until we drop it in the water. You know, we're going to use the travel lift to, to drop her back in the water. <laughs> Somebody having a few more cocktails than me, perhaps. Well deserved, yes. Mike is back on good times. He's working on his solar. He was having trouble getting his, um, his solar to keep from tripping. Great job. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Drop it in the what? In the water. 
Rich, water. That's how we say water. <laughs> Chad's brother. Been watching. Uh, ba -ba -ba. Great stuff. There's a lot to be said for a job done by yourself. Yes. And one of the things about doing this by myself, if I uh, prime it with a drill. Yes, sir. I know how to do that. Uh, I was about to say, I learned so much um, how motors rotate, how to tell which way they rotate. What actually rotates? Tates backwards, shocks, shacks on the water, on the water. <laughs> don't don't mess with me. I'm I've had a few already. You got me. Jealous of the weather. Yeah. Oh, I've seen the freezing weather in most of the uh, the country. That's pretty messed up. Let's see if I can get something better. Josh says, "Hey Marty, what's up, man? When do you think I'll get to VA? I'm assuming that's Virginia." Hola, desde España, from Spain, what's up, man? Hola, I'm shut down because of the freezing weather. Ugh. It'll get warm, six inches in Michigan. I don't want to complain, but last night on the hard to see, I am plugged in, I have electricity, but I can't run the air conditioner. So it was, I was going to leave to get some parts, and I told Mike I can't leave because to leave the dogs here, I have to shut the hatches. It was going to be uh, 90 degrees. It was already like, well, probably better than that. It was 86 degrees in the, in the cabin. So I couldn't just lock up the boat and leave the boats. Habla espanol, no, enough to get me in trouble. Can you find me a gram? Says this, okay, probably. Smell a little something, something earlier. Dude, foot of snow up here in Canada. <laughs> I grew up in New York, man. I love the snow. I would make igloos. I would skitch. You, you guys know what skitching is? Uh, I, I was a little hellion, man. I would throw snowballs at the buses when they went by. <laughs> Maximo, Espanol, no. Muy poquito. Um, so much fun. I remember making barriers in the... Um, <laughs> more cowbell. Hey, I, maybe, don't, don't get me started with the Christopher Walken thing. Uh, doing a dual set of, uh, ba -ba -ba. yes, it is, it is very, very satisfying work. But I was saying, uh, in growing up in New York, man, we would have so much fun as kids in the snow. Uh, as a matter of fact, uh, for a couple of years, I, I had, my only transportation was a motorcycle in New York City. It was freezing cold. And I would drive around, no motorcycle license, no license, no registration. Don't be like me, kids. I was stupid. I was young and invincible. But I, I love New York. Um, cookie cutters in New York. They're going by pretty quick. Ice storms in Delaware. Yeah, yellow snow. Don't eat the yellow snow. Um, Florida's been spared this time, I guess. Again, I don't have air conditioning, so when it's terribly hot, you guys know what it's like. Even you guys up north, when it gets hot, I grew up in New York, and it would be hot. And we weren't used to it. We didn't have central air. Hi, Will. Will you be living after the loop? Where will I be living? I have no idea, Matt. Boston, from Florida five years ago. Boston, you missed the snow. Dotson, 5'10". Funny, uh, I grew up with a guy with a... Um, Datsun, what was the name of that car? I love that car, man. It's a shame Datsun went under. Born, born in Syosset. Getting caught up in the uh, in the comments, man. I love you guys. I love that you guys are with me. Again, I was just putting the, uh, the motor mounts in before I close up the hatch and, and call it a night. I'm still greasy. 240Z, thank you, Drew. Yes, 240Z. <laughs> My friend Dave, um, man, he picked me up and he had the coolest car. It was Datsun 280Z. Cool car. I want to say it was stolen. I don't think he ever sold, uh, sold it. You really, it was like the, the low budget. Um, yeah, it is a sweet ride. The Livewell Kayak. I still got that. that the, the 280Z was awesome, man. I had a, what kind of motorcycle, says Drew. I had a, um, the engine is a 350, by the way. Um, the motorcycle 
was a Honda CB750, 4 into one exhaust. It was 508 pounds dry, and I was so invincible. I, I used to drive it to a stop and slide sideways. Uh, hookers, uh, headers, you mean? I hope. No hookers. <laughs> Minus 26 in Wisconsin. That's why there's so many fights in Wisconsin. It's got to make you angry. Yeah, a Bud Light beer. Can one consider Bud Light beer? Yes. Uh, Liberty, the reason I drink Bud Light is because I don't know how to sip. I have no governor. So if I drank something harder like a Guinness, I wouldn't be able to make these videos. 240Z. You remember when the 300Z came out? Woo! So hot. Am I coming to Philadelphia? Where um, Our plan is to go up the... Um, the East Coast all the way to uh, New York, we're going to have to get, man. We've been uh, slacking a little bit. So 300 ZTT, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Beautiful, wonderful cars. Below zero in Chicago. Yeah, see, this time next year, I'll be down here in the uh, homeless. Because this is my home. This is my home. You're looking at my home. You're looking at my pups down there on my bed. What am I going to do without a home? <laughs> do I have the Bass D? Do I still have the Bass D? Bass Raider? Hello from France! Is that from France? What's up, man? That's awesome. Jet engines on the boat. <laughs> that jet engine was a little bit disappointing. Maybe if I get one out of like a Sikorsky or something, that would be uh, interesting. What about the Xterra? Xterra? Come on. Rent is cheap in Mexico. Yeah, it's probably locked down because of the uh, the nonsense going on in the world. Uh, the Tennessee Tom. Man, I can't wait. You know, by then, goodness knows. At least I'm outfitted now. These new motors, I can't begin to tell you how the, the dread in the room that was there has lifted. I still have my Ranger. I might have to put a motor in that, too. <laughs> One thing at a time. One thing at a time. Oh, man. Where am I getting the motors? Where where am I getting the motors put in? Um, I'm putting them in myself here at Glades Boatyard. G-L-A-D-E-S. Glades. Good day from Walls A. Marty. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. What was that? Kiwi Flicks. Yak Adventures. What's up, man? I can't start talking with a yak, um, an Aussie accent because the next thing you know, everybody, they like... Hello, and I'm like, how are you doing? And they're like, are oh, you from down under? I'm like, no, 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 I just have sickness. <laughs> I was just talking to a guy, and I, now I'm talking like him. The chameleon at. <laughs> uh, if you complete, uh, how much did the jet engine cost me? Uh, that jet engine was like 3,800 bucks, more money than, mm, than both, the mo both the long blocks, both the motors cost less than that jet engine. Although this boat with both those jet, um, 350s will probably move just as fast. <laughs> Maybe a little faster. Good times are coming. And oh, oh my god. Let's hope the <laughs> let's hope the engine hoist doesn't do that as I am putting the last bolt in. Mike is helping. Um, yes. I, this wouldn't happen without Mike. Mm. Just want to let my let me know. I can't see. Let's see. Storms aren't slowing me down. No, 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 no. Oh my God! There's so much to do. There's so much to say, and I'm already at 15 minutes. It's ridiculous. So I'm gonna hide behind my my face here. Seriously though, no. I'm. Uh, the sun's already down over the horizon. I'm gonna close up the the boat. And uh, do I look better? Thank you, Paul. I feel better. I really do. I'm probably not better at these uh, lives, but maybe. I'm holding it in such a way that I'm about to cramp, but I don't think I'm covering the microphone. I got a new phone, by the way. <sighs> Clint says, rock on. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Clint. Thank you, everybody. Mojo23, how far behind are you guys? On the videos, um, not too far, 20 miles, but a few weeks. I've been concentrating on wrenching. 
I smell like uh, 10W30. It's wonderful. <laughs> I'm going to go to bed smelling like 10W30. My carpet smells like oil. Everything smells like oil. Hi, Brock. Hi, Scott. Thank you. Fisherman videos. All you guys, man. Thank you so much. I, uh, I hope to have within a couple of days a, a little bit of downtime, no promises, but um, I got some videos coming up about some good times. Going through a lock by myself, uh, single handing, what was the second time, the Ortona lock. A little rubbing and racing going on there. It was like NASCAR on the way out. <laughs> Stay tuned. There'll be all kinds of good stuff coming. Nice to see you guys for a little while at least. Until next time. Where's the off button on this thing? <laughs>